service uh, for uh, just about 30 years. After that, I went back to university and I retrained as a secondary school mathematics teacher. And latterly, I run businesses uh, just by way of amusement. Um, if anyone asks you what the hardest job is, uh, a secondary school or indeed a primary school teacher or a busy detective chief inspector, can I tell you uh, that it's a lot harder uh, being a school teacher? So you can see some of my skills down there on the left hand side. I spend uh, some time uh, teaching and learning uh, with police officers in training and uh, direct entrant uh, uh, detectives. And uh, I do, uh, my real passion is teaching and learning uh, with young people. And what I wanted to do is to, to use this uh, as a template, but do feel free to drop any questions that you want uh, into the chat box. Do feel free to, uh, to do that. Uh, that would be a uh, delight. And um, what I will do um, at, uh, at the end is answer any questions you've got. Absolutely no problems. And I'm going to share uh, this particular template uh, with you. So the way this is going to run, I'm going to share a template of something I did at East Coast College um, in, um, uh, in Suffolk. And then I'm going to show you the menu of what we offer uh, and then I will go into uh, what the uh, the costs are uh, for your particular school. So this is something I did uh, based on a menu of offerings that we have um, at um, East Coast College. And it was used for three purposes. First of all, revision for undergrads from University of Sussex, sorry, from Suffolk. Uh, it was secondly used for revision for A-levels and BTECs, and thirdly as enrichment. So this is basically what we did. This was very, very recent. Uh, looked at extreme psychopaths and serial killers. The psychology of aggression and violence was good because of course uh, that did help with revision. We then looked at drug smuggling and dealing and uh, more for sort of policing type students we looked at how police officers are taught uh, in terrorist cases as first officer on the scene. And this is a, a fun investigation. It's called anti-corruption uh, in the line of duty. Uh, uh, and basically this is an online uh, investigation which tests a lot of skills. So there were these five sessions. Uh, we then came back on the Friday. This was the day students broke up. And we looked at uh, why women kill, particularly serial killers. And as we well know, it's mainly men that kill. So we wanted to contrast the difference uh, between, uh, between the two. Uh, we then moved on to personality and behaviour uh, in a context. Uh, 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 yeah, as a context. And uh, then we moved on to offender profiling. And I've got to tell you that that is one of my main skills. Uh, I've used that operationally, uh, I've written offender profiles, and I've got some really cool profiles to give and share uh, to students or with students. And then victimology, we looked at session nine, uh, the psychology of victims, why me? Um, and then finally, we looked at forensic anthropology. I suppose it's like all new skills. I've recently been on a, a, a uni course a brilliant course, I have to say, particularly as it was free around and, uh, forensic anthropology. What is it that you can tell from bone? So it's bringing loads of things, clinical measurement, uh, small bit of maths, and some really interesting stuff. So that is basically how we did it, uh, making the experience easy. What we did is we created this little site. So any documents, all the lecture notes, all the PowerPoints, it's not death by PowerPoint, all went on to this site. So we, uh, I'm, I'm going to come to the menu in a minute, but basically what we did is to make sure that this one here, for instance, session one, students were given the opportunity to test their own psychopathy. The learning being is once you know your own, uh, you can then move on to uh, making judgments, professional judgments about other people. So all these documents could be downloaded. And what we were interested to find out afterwards, there were about 60 students, uh, undergrads, A-level students and BTEC. 
and also some year uh, 11 students from surrounding schools that were desirous of doing some of these subjects. So um, students could use the phone to access the resources and we took along uh, for um, uh, to make sure everyone had a, a, there was parity at an equal opportunity. So people didn't have phones and wanted to look at it. We bring 10 laptops around, some really good ones, so students can access it. So the added value, um, there is uh, one of my best mates, a guy called Dr. Colin Johnson, is one of the world's leading experts on geographical profiling. So we left that for uh, students to look at. And we've got a big conference coming up in a few weeks time. So we were able to give students special prices for that. So we then go through things, very simple things about what forensic and criminal psychologists look at. Uh, and uh, yeah, and then straight on to the first lecture. So um, it, I, I say a lecture, the learning style is still going through the visual, audio and kinesthetic side so particularly with younger students they're not sitting there with one of us blurring on uh, about some there is a lot of interaction but again uh, right at the beginning they're given uh, an overview of what we're going to do so there's lots to do so that's basically how the uh, and then we look at definitions uh, we ask them to do things so this is one of the things that we start off with um, is what do you see? Uh, the learning being here that psychopaths are highly attuned to their environment and they get this quite quickly. It's actually uh, a calf, would you believe? You're thinking, well, how come that's a calf? Well, if you look at that and then I take that away, uh, you'll see it's a calf. And there's some other stuff. So that is basically, and very simplistically, uh, I'm going to stop sharing now. Uh, that is the delivery style. We are so passionate about this because we've had the advantage of being senior police officers, uh, uh, some of us, including myself, and PGCEs as well. And uh, we've got all of that forensic and criminal psychology expertise uh, behind us. So moving on then and uh, having a look at, here is the menu uh, of what we offer. I really hope I can, I can show these. I've, yeah, I've teed this up. So this is what you should hopefully uh, be able to see. This is what uh, we've got together uh, for you guys. And of course, we've started taking uh, bookings already, which is an absolute uh, delight, including, um, I have to say, some, uh, some adults at uh, a particular college in uh, Wiltshire. So this is basically what it caters for all learning styles. I can't stress that enough. Uh, obviously, it's not all kinesthetic, it's not all visual, but there is a really, really good blend, I hope, uh, for uh, everyone. So let's just have a look at these. So it's really like, um, dare I use the expression, like a pick and mix. So all you do is you go through our offerings. Uh, this is what um, uh, Natalie Argyle, one of our uh, big clients at Blackheath High School said, uh, you can see here, and I'm going to, at the end of this, is to refresh your memory as I'm going to send you uh, a copy of uh, this uh, brochure so you can have a look at it uh, with together with something else. So there's all sorts of things you can do. A hands-on session, if you wanted to, this could last the whole day. Uh, a crime scene investigation, so it's from key stage two upwards. Obviously, if we're dealing with primary school students, we don't do it as a murder. We do it as a theft derived. But once you're into high school and uh, other things, again, if you for uh, very, very clever students, we do a cold case uh, investigation where we've got all the artefacts from the 70s and go through this. This is quite good. This gets students really thinking about how to get away with murder. So we give a set of circumstances and ask students to kind of reverse it and see how they could get away with murder. It's not uh, flippant, it's actually got a lot of educational value to it. So crime scene investigation, uh, fingerprint masterclass, ballistics, this is all covered in a complete day. Blood spatter patterns, uh, which is good. I, I like to bring this to life uh, with trigonometry. So uh, blood spatter pattern analysis, 
the actual patterns to look at where they derive from or where they originated from uh, tend to be uh, you tend to use uh, trigonometry and if a student can't get trigonometry it's quite easy uh, to put this across in a, a applied way looking at contact trace uh, we've got some of the best microscopes i think uh, on offer digital microscopes forensic anthropology uh, what is it like to attend a post-mortem so you could have a look at all of these things they're numbered it, it really is like a menu so you say you know okay our school day lasts from I don't know from half past eight to half past three with breaks what is it that we can put in uh, here so they're moving on to homicide themed things extreme psychopaths and serial killers uh, the word extreme is that we bring in a thing called the dark triad and it's also quite good for young people to work out uh, who's exhibiting some of these variables and traits and actually avoid them. British serial killers, I think a lot of people are disappointed that in this country, unless I'm missing something, we don't have a horrendous problem of serial killings or killers. Women who kill, children who kill, uh, serial cuppers, uh, world's worst murderers. And the, the good thing with this particular talk is that we look at different methods whilst we're on this uh, here is we are acutely aware of mental health well-being so whilst we're dealing and for authenticity we're going to be talking about uh, murder etc uh, etc cetera, et cetera. what we do is we make sure that we haven't got anything too gory and we haven't we've been doing this now for nearly 15 years we haven't had any problems this is the fine line between murdered and missing and this where we really get into this is the stuff that I tend to lead on the psychology of aggression and violence, psychology of blackmail, which is fascinating, uh, personality and behaviour, the psychology of bite marks. That's what I did for my dissertation many, many years ago at uh, university. Um, I'm sure my poor old mum didn't realise uh, what I was actually investigating. And I still do have quite a lot to do with the psychology and not the physical odontology side. Murky Worth of Psychopaths, that is one of our best sellers. Uh, is your boss a psychopath? And probably not for students. Why is it that people start fires or arson? This here is, I, I find, acutely interesting because stalking, both perpetrated by males and females, is on the increase. And there's a lot to do with social media. So there can be some really good crime prevention in here. Offender profiling, I could talk to you for hours about this. And this has formed the hub uh, of my degree. And I had the privilege of studying under the uh, tutelage of Professor David Cantor. The rise of gangs inside Broadmoor. What's it like? What happens there? Uh, you hear from some of the patients here. And this is what you guys are going to get. Um, and you can stop and start it. It's recorded. Uh, it's it's really quite interesting. And I have the privilege of working with my wife and my three daughters. And we've got various different skills, psychology, police officers, management. But this was really interesting. And this is your freebie for coming along this evening or listening to this. And then we do uh, courses and at uh, Blackheath. Uh, high school um, these courses were bought in as a they last for four hours but what teachers did do was to dissect them into half hours and run them as an after school club which is really quite cool inside the mind of a murderer four of those aspects aggression profiling criminal psychopaths and British serial killers uh, this here I loved doing violent offenders predatory lies and lie detection and then mental illness. And this uh, is the longest uh, bit of research I've ever done, uh, was looking at, everyone knows about Adolf Hitler, uh, the tyrant, but what is not particularly known is what he was thinking, what his thoughts were. So uh, the, I did a lot of research, this lasts for four hours, uh, really, really good. And then general interest here, some of these may interest you, how is uh, investigating complaints against police i'm doing a uh, a documentary with panorama as we speak uh, looking at the antics of the disgraced 
uh, Wayne Cousins, who was a serving Met officer uh, that murdered that poor young Sarah Everett. Uh, then looking at terrorism, drug smuggling, and then stuff in the capital. And then things like what does make a detective? Well, I kind of knew that, but I didn't think I'd still be lecturing at the detective training school in the Docklands in London. And then uh, poisoning, you can read all through this, uh, but these are the sort of things uh, that we do. Um, I'll send that to you. Okay, so uh, we are now uh, coming towards the end. So just recapping uh, is just very much uh, our window of opportunity opens for the whole of the summer term. And uh, we are actually going into uh, post uh, breaking up of schools. Uh, we've had a couple of colleges ask us to do um, some summer schools. Uh, there's a couple in Wiltshire. So um, the, I will send to you uh, this here. So this is the opportunity for you to mix and match. This is the pricing. And this is for up to 50 students uh, for one day. And again, I'll put this on an email into you for a follow up. Our fees for one day is a thousand pounds. Yeah. And that's for up to 50 students. So if you have us just for one day, uh, that's what the cost will be. For two days, uh, the cost is £1,500, which is exactly uh, what we charge East Coast College. And then it's £750 thereafter. If you're asking us to go to Glasgow, uh, then there may be travelling costs on that. But this is all about, this summer school is all about you and your students and personalising it to you. And we will uh, talk this uh, through uh, with you. And then just finally, thank you very much for listening. I will send uh, to you, uh, and I suggest you have a, a read through it. Uh, and it's a recording of, um, and I'm, it's on YouTube. It is the, uh, the psychology around bodies in suitcases. Why do people do it? Very, very interactive. It gives